Hey guys, I'm back. Um, have you been watching Stranger Things? Have ya? Everyone has. So have I. Anyway, so I'm in my kitchen today and as you can see, we have, get out of here. We have our broken butt boy dog because our dishwasher actually just gave out on us this week. And so I wanna kind of show you, basically it's kind of bringing me back um, to the 80s because I have vivid memories of washing dishes, drying dishes um, with my brothers all growing up. We had a dishwasher, but for some reason we never used it. So I want to kind of show you the situation. Uh, we're kind of living in 1986 right now and I'm digging it. So I think everyone wants to be living in 1986 right now. Still no ring light. Uh, so sorry about the lighting. Um, I have no excuses. So I'm gonna show you though what we're doing. I broke out this old relic, the dish drying rack. See this? And we've been using this boy pretty much consistent. I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually, if you have some of these gloves like this, you can make the water like scorching hot and it's hot enough that you feel like you're killing all the germs, but you also have this barrier so it's not burning the skin off of your hands. Um, interesting side note, the first time I ever bought these, I actually used them to dye my hair blue and it actually resulted in dyeing the gloves blue. Um, they have been washed thoroughly. I don't understand why that's happened, but um, word to the wise, that can happen and that will happen because it happened to me. So, so as you may know, I was born in the 80s and uh, was a teenager in the 90s and so we didn't actually have uh we got a nintendo i think when i was about seven years old we got it for christmas and i'm the youngest i've got two older brothers so when i did get to play <laughs> on the rare occasion i was uh always luigi as you might imagine but duck hunt yes that was a game changer loved it um so i spent a lot of time outside as a kid um, and I still love spending time outside. So uh, I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be kind of everywhere because um, I just wanna upload a video just to kind of put something out. I need to get more consistent with this, but right now I'm gonna show you my garden that I've, that I've created, that I have grown. So okay, let me show This you. is my cinder block garden. There's Sammy. Sammy. And uh, I literally bought these cinder blocks for like $2 a piece. I think I got them on like Facebook Marketplace or something. And then I've got my tomato plants over here. Uh, these are all tomato plants. Oh, there's a little guy on there already. And then right here I have one zucchini because I'm hoping to grow some zucchini bread. But I don't see him popping up yet. I've got some snap peas over here and some marigolds, which just kind of help... Um, attract the pollinators. These are my peas. Eventually those will be some peas. And then back here I have a whole bunch of weeds as you see. But these little guys, these shoots, these are actually onions. I have onions in the ground. I don't know how that's going to turn out. And then right here I have my archway and I have on both sides of my arch I have my cucumbers. So my thought is that they are going to grow up over the arch, the cucumbers will hang down. Uh, we eat a lot of pickles. So I'm excited about that. I've got these tall boys right here. These are actually sunflowers. So these are gonna start exploding. They're already like three foot tall. And then down here in the bed, I also have some green beans planted. And then you can also see these are like wild strawberries. These things come up and uh, they're really not worth collecting them and picking them and eating them but the dogs eat them <laughs> these here I'm really super excited about so I've got five burlap sacks and these are actually potatoes so what I've done is I planted the potatoes and then I just unroll this I do need to get more soil because you can see there's quite a bit of stem showing here um, so I unroll it a couple times top it off with more soil and then eventually these um, bags will be completely full of soil 
and at the end of the season I'll be able to dump them. So at the end of the season I should be able to dump these out onto a tarp and then all the potatoes will be right there hopefully. I mean we'll see. We'll see as the season progresses what um, <laughs> what they actually yield. I'm excited though. I hope I'm very hopeful. Right here we have just kind of some shrubbery that's grown up over the bush. Um, that's it as far as like food, uh, as far as like my garden. So I've got my two little beds here. Ultimately what I would like to do um, eventually is I'd love to get like another fence and fence off, kind of cut the backyard in half. So like the back 10 to 20 feet is just just planting ground. It's just ground up dirt. I'm going to bring a tiller in, all that. But the thing is I have to have a fence because we have the dogs and our one dog, especially Melissa, she has really run through those onions and made it kind of difficult. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. Let me show you my herbs. Okay, right here we have parsley. And then this is our rosemary. I believe this is cilantro, but it is not looking very good. It's looking pretty dried out. This is our basil, healthy. This is actually um, chives. They survived the summer, or I'm sorry, they survived the winter and they came back with a vengeance. So this is like chives. They've even gone to flower, so that's interesting. Um, I had some leftover onions and I planted them in here and then I'm not sure what this is. Oh, that's English thyme. And then I have more onions over here, just in a pot. I kind of ran out of room in the yard. Um, I've, I've never, never tried to grow onions before. So again, this is kind of a learning experience for me. Um, this stinks not having a ring light because it is so great to have the sunshine because it's, you know, the, you know, God's ring light, right? <laughs> but it is also like, freaking 100 degrees here in the Midwest. So I don't know. I just wanted to take you on a little tour of the garden. Um, I'm trying to think of some ideas, some different things to talk to because and watching Stranger Things, which I love, by the way, everyone loves, I know. Um, but it's interesting because there's such an interest that has been an interest in like the 80s, the genre. Um, and it's really cool that, you know, I grew up in the 80s. I do remember um, what it was like in the 80s. By my calculations, I would be about the age of Mike's little sister, because um, I was born in 81. And so they were a little bit older. They're about the, the age of my brothers in the show, um, considering it took place in like 86 or whatever. Um, so that's kind of interesting. And actually too, like has anyone seen Mike's little sister? Like where did she go? She, she hasn't appeared at all. Um, in this in this most recent season so i don't know but thank you for hanging out <laughs> i'll uh i'll upload again um i took a really great video of a museum but the file was so big i could not figure out how to upload it it's going to be like over an hour long so if i can figure that out i'll get it uploaded but for now i'm just shorten i'm just shooting these little ones just for um for space you know so all right well i'll see you later bye all